Hi again. Um, another short screencast about comparing Blender and 3D Studio Max. So we have a new 3D Studio Max scene opens up for panels. Blender usually just opens up as the one 3D view. Um, okay, so it, the format opens up differently. Um, 3D Studio Max starts with nothing. Blender starts with a cube. Have to create a cube here. Give it different segments and height. Okay, because we want to look at the sub object poly modeling tools in this tutorial, just the ba very basics. Okay, it's a comparison. So here's the cube in 3D Studio Max. Here's a cube in Blender. So in Blender, it only has um, <laughs> eight faces. Uh, one, two, three, six faces. Sorry, six faces in the cube. And go to edit mode, and you have to subdivide it here. So let's subdivide it down to about here. So that gets a fairly similar cube to this. Okay, this isn't a cube now because it's distorted, but you, you can see what I mean. So now you've got the cube. Um, you're in object mode. In Blender, you can't really see the faces on there. When you select a max, you can, but at the moment, max is a primitive. Okay, so this is very interesting. It's a primitive, you have to convert it to an editable poly or a mesh or a G poly patch or nerves. So I'm going to convert it to an editable poly. So that's taken it to the same state as Blender. So in Blender, we have to go to edit mode again to edit these areas. In 3D Studio Max, we have to go to the command panel and choose the selection either vertex, edge, border, polygon. Okay, so let's select one. One face here on that, and then on Blender, so oh, sorry, to select it's uh, left click, and then in Blender it's a we have to go to the faces down here, and left click is to select, okay, and to add more we hold down shift, and in 3D Studio Max we we hold down control, so left click and control in 3D Studio Max to select more faces and right click and shift in Blender to hold down the faces um, and then we can E to extrude and then start editing like that in 3D Studio Max it's the same but we use the control bar uh, we can use the control bar right so basically there's your basics of sub trying to get into the sub-object in Max and Blender. I would actually say Blender's kind of easier in the way that you don't have to convert it. It's not, it's just an object. It's not a primitive, it's just a, well, it is a primitive, but you can edit it straight away. In 3D Studio Max, you create a primitive and it's not editable. It's only scalable and stuff, yeah? Um, and then you have to convert it to, so it becomes an editable thing. So that's basically it. For this one, I'll be making more. Thank you. Goodbye. Good night, or whatever time it is.